hi guys welcome back to lennox benny channel ensure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel ensure that you follow me on tiktok today we're gonna look at things that you should know in matrices now the first one is order of the matrix so let's go so guys in order to pass cfc one of the things that are required you should know how to name the matrix now a matrix is defined by the number of rows and the number of columns so columns run from left to right so in this case these are the columns the rows rather these are the rows so we have two rows while these are the columns so we have one two three so this is said to be a two by three matrix let's look at b now rows run from left to right so this is one row second row third row so this is three how many columns one two so this is said to be a three by two column let's look at c how many rows one two so we have two rows always put the rows first how many columns let's go one two three four columns so this is said to be a two by four now I want you guys to leave those two in the comment section. What is the order of D and E? All right, guys. So one of the things that you're required to do in your CXE exam is to add matrices. So we're going to add A plus B. It's very simple. All we do, we add matching. So we're going to add three. I'm just going to write out all of A first with a little space. And then I'll show you what I mean. You're just going to be adding the corresponding position. So this comes first on the left. So we add it 7. And we continue like that. 2 matches with 8. So it's very simple. Very nice topic matrices also. 5 plus that which is 0. And then now we add. So we're going to add and we're going to get 4. 3 plus 7, that's 10. 2 plus 8 also 10 whoa 1 plus 9 also 10 and then 5 plus 0 which is 5 and this would be our answer if you want to join my math marathon call this number 549-2161 let's look at subtracting is it different all right so let's look at b subtract a one of the things that students must remember the order matters so we must put B first. Alright, so let's go. So B is 7, 8. Again, I'm leaving out its space. 9 and 0. And then we subtract A. So A is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Because remember, we're adding matching corresponding, and then we have 5. And of course, Careful at the sign, guys. In some cases, 7 minus 3, that is 4. 8 minus 2, 6. 9 minus 1, 8. 0 minus that, minus 5. And that would be our answer. Let's look at scalar now. Hit the like button if you have not done so. Hit the follow button if you have not done so. Alright, let's look at 2a minus 3b now when you get this in the exam guys all you have to do is to multiply each term in the bracket by what we call the scalar so it's just like you're increasing the size by 2 so let's set it out that way so we have 2 1 2 0 5 and we'll do the same thing but this time we're going to times b by 3 which is this 3 right here so we'll put our 3 negative 1, 6, negative 4, and 9. All right, let's expand the bracket. 2 times 1, 2. 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 5, 10. Put back our minus. 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. Wrong thing that was meant. 3 times negative 1, negative 3. 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times that, negative 12, 3 9 is 27. 
and then now all we have to do go back to the addition rule or the subtraction rule which is 2 minus minus 3 and you continue like that remember matching 4 minus 18 and then of course 0 minus very important minus 12 all right remember that's my number to join my marathon and then we have 10 minus 27 i'm gonna simplify from here let's go 2 minus minus 3 this is gonna become a plus students so sometimes have a little difficulty so 2 plus 3 is 5 4 take away 18 that's negative 14 this is going to become a plus, so this becomes positive 12. Hit the light button if I have not done so. 10 minus 27, that is negative 17. Remember, the 27 is bigger, so it takes a negative sign. Let's go, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's look at multiplication. CX would want you to look at multiplication. So we have P is equal to that. Q is equal to that. Let's look at Q times P. So when you're multiplying, it's the order matters. So like when you have Q at the front, let's continue with that. So 1, 0, 8, 9. Now the first one must be in rows. So this one here should be in rows. And remember, rows run from left to right. While the other one now is going to be in columns. We discussed that earlier in the video. So guys, this is very easy. All right. So we're going to multiply row one by column one then column two that gives us the top and then row two times column one and column two let's go so this case it would be one times three i'm gonna try to do it as long as possible plus zero times four so hopefully you guys can see it i've done this before on my youtube channel you guys can go there all right, let's look at it again. One times two. And then zero times six. And we continue like that now. On to row two. So it's eight times three. So the three them match up. So if you're doing it the long way, these should match, right? And then plus nine times four because it's this row times this follow so it's going to be nine times and notice it match up again the four match up all right next we're going to multiply row two times column two so it's going to be eight and nine times two and six so let's go do that so it's eight times 2 plus 9 times 6 and there we have it this 0 should actually be red so let's kind of keep it jiggy all right i'm gonna just simplify from here so 1 times 3 that's 3 0 plus 0 times 4 is 0, so we have plus that. 1 times 2, that's 2. 0 times 6, 0. So that's the top one. 8 times 3, 24. 9 times 4, 36. And we continue. 8 twos, 16. 9 times 6, 54. And we just simplify that, and that will be our answer. 3 plus 0 is 3. Plus that 2. 24 plus 6, that's 60. Yeah, 4 and 6, 10, 0, carry the 1, and that works out to 270. So it's a very nice rounded number, 3, 2, 60, and 70. Let's look at finding the inverse. Let's go. All right, guys, let's look at finding the inverse of A. All right, so what the inverse is, we basically... Find the determinant. Now, all matrix is in the form A, B, C, D. So, what we're going to do, multiply A times D and we minus B times C. Now, A times C would be 
a times d rather that would be 3 times 5 minus 1 times 2, which is b times c. So 3, 5, 15 minus 1 times 2, 2. So this gives us 13. But guess what? This is what we call the determinant. You can use det to represent it. Now to get the inverse, we're going to have 1 over the determinant, which is the 13. 13. And then we swap the leading diagonal. So 5 is going to take the place of 3. See, I color code it so you guys can follow. And then you have 3 here. And then we change the sign of these. So the 1 is going to remain the same place. But you're going to change the sign. So that becomes negative 1. And this becomes negative 2. This will give you three marks. Guys, if you want to join my marathon, 549-2161. All right, guys. So we're going to show you how to find the identity. And the identity is just the inverse of the matrix multiplied by the original to give you 1, 0, 0, 1. So it's more like a proof. All right. So let's go. So I just showed you how to find the inverse. So we're just going to freestyle it. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4, 1 times 4 will give you 2. So it's 1 over 2 for the determinant part. And then we swap the position of 2 and 3. We just showed it that. Change the sign of these. And then now we're going to multiply it by the original. What was the original? 3, 1 and 4, 2. And we know that it's multiplying row by column. So we're using 2, 1, and we're using this. We just show the multiplication. Everyone should be able to do it. So I'm going to freestyle. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 1 times that, negative 4. 2 times 1, 2. Negative 1 times that, minus 2. Negative 4 times 3, negative 12. 3 times 4, 12. See it come nicely? Negative 4 times 1, negative 4, 3 times 2, which is 6. Long and short of it, this gives us 2, 0, 0, 2. And to finish it off, we divide by the determinant right here, which is this 2. So 2 into 2, that's 1, 0, 1. And that's how we find the identity. All right, let's look at solving the simultaneous equation using the matrices method. All right, guys, let's look at solving this simultaneous equation. 2x plus y is equal to 13. x plus 3y equal 14. We're going to do it the matrices method since it's this matrices. So the first thing you do, you write the coefficient. So you're going to write 2, 1, plus 1. It's a 1. You understand? Yeah. So we have 1, 3. So write it in the matrix form, and we times it by x, y. And of course, this must equal to 13, 14. So what we're going to do, we're going to find the inverse and then times it by this, all right? So we have 2 times 3, that is 6. 1 times 1. So the determinant is 5. So it's 1 over 5 times the adjoint, which is 3, 2. We showed it that already. Negative 1, negative 1. And we're going to times that by 13. And by the way, guys, I kind of simplify it. It's much longer than this. So all we have to do now is just multiply row by column. So it's one column. So we just times it by these rows. 3 times 13. That's what? 3, 3 is 9. 3, 1 is 3. So that's 39. Negative 1 times 14. That's minus 14. I think I need more space, you know. No, it's okay. Negative 1 times 13, negative 13, 2 times 14, 28. Don't forget to bring back the 1 over the determinant. So let's do the maths now. 39, take away 14, 4 from 9, 9 from, 4 from 9, leave 5 rather. 1 from 3, leave 2, so that's 25. These signs are different, so we have to subtract. This will give us 5, 1 from that, 1. 1 from 2, right? So, guys, in order to solve now, all we need to do is to divide both of them by 25. So, 25 divided by 5, 15 divided by 
5. And we can see where it's going. X is equal to 5, while Y is equal to 3. So, X is 5, while Y is 3. And guys, you can purchase the equal matrices on my video. So, you can make the purchase for the equal matrices videos. I'm not going to come tomorrow, no doubt. I'll see you guys in another video. If you're watching on YouTube, big up yourself, Instagram, link it anywhere you're watching from, big up.